fans, we got ourselves a little bit of breaking news this past weekend, I want to say. We got ourselves Tyson Fury signing a deal to fight Alexander Usyk in December, quite possibly January. That's big news, guys. That's really big news. You know, that's actually a lot of guts and balls for Tyson Fury for be able to, for you know being able to do that because he knows he's taking on a tough task. It may not be tough on paper, but still, you definitely do not want to sleep on Francis Ngannou. He is taking on Francis Ngannou in October 28th, and he is taking him in Saudi Arabia. So now, if you really think on paper, that's less than two months of training that he has to less than two months less training time for him to prepare for by far his toughest challenge ever, Alexander Usyk. Alexander Usyk is no walk in the park. You want to really, really prepare for this guy. Right now, it definitely seems that Tyson Fury is looking at Francis Ngannou and looking at Usyk and saying to himself, you know what, I can take these guys both on at the same night, at the same time. I don't need a rest. I don't need a break in between. Let's do this. That's a lot of guts for Tyson. That's a really a, shows a lot of guts for him because, again, <clears throat> you know, we got Francis Ngannou who holds these just massive atomic bombs in his hands. That could pretty much lay anybody out. I don't care who you are. It can knock you out senseless. We've seen him destroy some of the best heavyweights around the world. No, not in boxing, in MMA. Of course, we all know it's different. But still, at the end of the time, at the end of the time he's been able to do that. So, he could very well land something very massive on Tyson Fury. Possibly. But on paper, yes, on paper, Tyson Fury should pretty much annihilate Francis Ghana Without any question without any danger with ease he should be able to do that but again when you say puncher's chance you definitely mean puncher's chance when it comes to francis Ngano because francis Ngano definitely has a puncher's chance and it's not even just like a power punch I, we've seen him knock out people with just a jab a powerful jab he's been able to do that with so he has the ability to knock you out with a power punch and the ability to knock you out with um just a jab so it's definitely, definitely, definitely dangerous, and you do not want to take Francis Ngannou lightly. So with that being said, after Tyson Spears is taking him on, he's pretty much telling Alexander Usyk that, listen, everybody else in the boxing world sees you as being dangerous, sees you as being a very, very competitive fighter, or being somebody that's super special. I don't see you like that. That is what Tyson Fury is saying to Usyk by saying, I will take you on right after I'm done with Francis Ngannou. I do not need a long training camp. I do not need 8 or 12 week training camp. I could do it in 10, 9, or even 8 weeks, or excuse me, he could do it in um, 7 or 6 weeks, I should say. He could do it less than that to prepare for Usyk, somebody who is as dangerous as anybody he's ever faced in that ring. That shows, one, a lot of guts or a lot of stupidity. Because that's one thing you definitely do not want to take lightly. You do not want to take Francis Ngannou lightly. And you definitely don't want to take Usyk lightly. We've seen what Usyk was able to do to guys like Anthony Joshua. we already seen what Francis Ngannou, what kind of power he has. That It could be a very bad night for both these guys. Or not both these guys, for Tyson Fury. He could actually have quite possibly have back-to-back -back losses. And it, let's face facts that if um, Francis Ngannou does beat Tyson Fury... That fight with Usyk just so happened to be little dwindled down. It's no longer as big as we have hoped it to be. So with that being said, you know, I want to ask you guys this. Is Tyson Fury overlooking his opponents or is Tyson Fury just that good and that um, confident that he can actually beat these guys without question? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.